you're absolutely incredibly famous for your performances and quite extraordinary performances of endurance and I'm thinking of some of those seminal works. Do you still do those performances? Oh, absolutely, you know, performance is my real life and next year you can see my larger perspective in MoMA and here in New York and I, for that occasion I will, re I will work on a new piece which is called Artist is Present and I will perform three months, eight days, eight hours a day, every single day, so the entire duration of the show, so that literally I will be present and perform in my new piece. Uh, but will they be the kind of performances you've done in the past where you're testing your kind of body in some way? You know, if you're performing three months, eight hours a day, you're testing everything. Not just, uh, you know, physical, but also physical limits, but also your mental, uh, you know, conviction, how you, you be, how the willpower, how you can do it. In You know, three months is a very long time. I never actually performed three months before. No, because usually your performance is actually shorter, even your walk you did on the Great Wall of China. It, was this was three months, but you know, it was walk, but it was not, <laughs> you know, it was not, uh, walk is different than performing in front of public in MoMA, which is between 15 to 70,000 people per day. In, in uh, walking the Chinese Wall, there was no public, so it's a very different kind of energy set up. So Marina, why do you want to continue doing this? Does it really feed you, doing all these incredible... Works. I think performance is uh, really my way of expressing my ideas in art. You know, many artists have to find for themselves which is the best tool. Some people really find the best tool is painting or sculpture or drawing or installations or video. For me, it's really using my own self because I think that uh, it's so much more to explore and the performance is really the the kind of art form that fits me as an artist the best. Sometimes the work, you know, come from the real feelings in my private life and I just feel now that I'm in a situation of the change which my uh, you know in, in my, my relation with my husband is ending and I made this piece called uh, Happy Christmas with really showing the all emotions which I just cry and it's very very uh, actually ugly image of myself but it's so important to see it to me there is a there is a, some kind of true reality and it's a kind of mirror image of the emotional state where anybody who goes through separation can reflect to. Many times I wait in performances a few hours, I wait the last minute the photograph be taken so that you have the entire drama of the of durational piece in the photograph itself. So when you see these photographs here with the, you know, meditating on onions and peeling potatoes, it's, it's I spend a long period of time doing this and then in one point photograph been taken because then this kind of energy is actually kept inside the photo. And talking of energy, we're here in an art fair. <laughs> um, and there seems to be a lot of energy around. I mean, what's your feeling? I think the recession is so good for an artist. I think it's the best thing can happen because I think that uh, that uh, the, the the pro product of this recession is actually greed of art of the people who wanted to be rich on any cost, and that's why we're in this kind of trouble. And I think for an artist, it's very good to have recession because then you come to the real the, the, the real values, and you don't make some kind of you know, fake uh, jet set images of an art, art which should never be. That's really interesting, isn't it? How so the recession, the worst is always the best. There's a Sufi statement that says, worst is the best. Now is the good time.